On September 8, 2023, my beloved stepped into heaven. Mylon was a wise man and he made sure we had months of shows filmed in advance in the most beautiful locations in the world, just like you're about to see. Please understand these were the messages he wanted you to hear before he crossed over. That's how important you were to him. As you receive the truth today, be encouraged by Mylon's example. He fought the good fight. He finished his race. And until his final moment on this earth, he kept the faith. He stayed on that road to freedom all the way to heaven. And now he is eternally free. Hi, my name is Mylon Lefebvre, and music is in my blood. I got my first big break when Elvis Presley recorded a song I'd written at 17 years old. I toured the world and played with some of the biggest names in music and almost died from a drug overdose. Something had to change. Everything did change when I gave my life to Jesus at a second chapter of Acts concert in 1980. Now, years later, a wife, Christy, and I traveled the globe proclaiming God's goodness. So come on and join me on the road to freedom. Welcome to On the Road to Freedom. You've joined us in this really super cool location, Legendary Sound Studios in Fort Worth, Texas. And it's owned by precious friends of ours, Michael and Sherry Howe, and their ministry, The New Sound is Family. Cool band, mm -hmm. cool worship team. Amen. The coolest. The coolest. So they let us borrow their studio today to film On the Road to Freedom, to film these shows for you. So thank you for joining us. And we want you to know we're praying for you today. But Amen. how can we specifically pray for you? Mm -hmm. Please go to prayer at mylan.org. We have a prayer team waiting. They're ready to pray faith-filled prayers of agreement with you for your breakthrough. We want you to know that we love you and we are here for you. That is why we do this show. It is for you. Amen. So we're thankful for you today, Team Milan. We want you to know all the uh, lighting and all the gear that you see, it's paid for now. Hallelujah. So we thank you for that, Team Milan. And now we're in the process of updating our office software, our website, computer IT technical yeah, yeah, updates yeah. that we've needed to do for years. And the reason why is so that we can minister more effectively Amen. to yes, you yes. and minister to all and those to others, who reach yes. out to us from all over the world. So I just want to thank you again, Team Milan, for your partnership, for your agreement in prayer, and for your financial support. It really is making a difference for the kingdom mm -hmm. of God because Jesus is coming soon and we need to take as many people with us to heaven Amen. as we can. Amen. Amen. Was there something you needed to say? I wanted to tell you how <laughs> lovely you are. I love oh, okay. to be married to a preacher of the gospel. Praise and I God. love to watch you minister and even doing the Thank TV. You. I just love you. I love and you. And I'm honey. thankful for you. I think you look Go very good. I didn't mean to stop you. You're doing a great <laughs> Thank job. Thank you, honey. I love you. And love I'm so you. grateful for you. And of course, we always want you to know the purpose for this show is John 8, 31 and 32, yeah. where Jesus said, if you will continue in my word. So this is for you. And this is for me, right? Amen. This is for I'm you. Continuing Amen. Too. We're continuing in the word. Mm -hmm. Then you will truly be my disciples. And you, here's the reward. And you will know. You'll know that you know that you know. You will know no the doubt. truth. You'll have yeah. no doubt. That's right. And you, you'll you know the truth and it'll make you free. Come on. Free from what? Well, what Come do you on. need to be Come free on. of today? Anything. Free from, right, it'll make yeah, you free from fear. Bad. Free from lack, anything yeah, bad. Amen. That's a good way to put That's it. Free good. from anything bad. Hallelujah. So Jesus wants you free. And today we're talking about freedom from religion. Mm. We're talking about the real thing. 
which mm-hmm. is a relationship Amen. with Jesus. Now, Praise I love God. to hear my husband's testimony concerning this. When we're in the sound studio, it always brings up memories of his music background. He is a singer, songwriter, and I know most of you know his music background, but I'd love for him to share that story of how he learned the difference between relationship and religion. It would take the whole show, my love, yeah. for me to explain yeah. all that, but mm-hmm. you can go to org and see our my testimony, and I would love to share that with you. Yes. Even my wife wrote a book about it called Without Him, and it explains it with, in picture form. There's like a 114 pictures, I think, yeah. over 100. It's a lot. <laughs> of all the places we went and all the things we saw and did and, and what the Lord did. That's what is most exciting. Jesus said that Satan is defeated by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. So I would like to share that with you. But let me talk to you about religion for a little bit because religion can be a good thing. Mm -hmm. What some people call religion, they call that, they refer to that as a relationship with God. The only thing is Satan tries to counterfeit. Every time God does something real, the real thing is about love. Mm -hmm. God is love. And God wants you to have a relationship with love. He wants you to enter in with Him and to receive His Son. He gave His Son because He loved the world so much. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. And that's who. That's what a relationship between you and Jesus and you and the Father through Jesus, that's Christianity. Yeah, yeah. And we are supposed to be Christians. That uh, The word Christ is not Jesus' last name. It means the anointed one and His anointing. Jesus is the anointed one of God. And His anointing will come on you and make you a Christian or a (laughs) Christian. Right. That's what the word Christian is about. It's about your relationship with Jesus Christ. And there can be some ceremony. It's nice to go to church and see the robes and the choir and and the and the guy with the the sash and the you know the nice clothes and everything but that's not jesus Mm -hmm. tradition is not jesus right that's it ceremony is not jesus and those things have no power Mm -hmm. burning a candle will not change anybody's life there are certain things that you can do you can say the same prayer a hundred times it won't talk god into doing anything Mm -hmm. The Bible is full of what he said he would do if we would trust him. Yes. Those are his promises. There's over 7,000 of them. Those are amazing promises. And if you read them and get them in your heart, he'll do them all if yeah. you believe it. Mm-hmm. If you believe it and if you say it and if you expect it to come past, it will. It will manifest. When will he do that? I don't know. I'm not God. There's been things that I waited on 10 years there's some things I've been waiting on 25 years and it hadn't happened yet, but they're going to. Mm-hmm. I believe, and I bet my life on it, it's going to happen. There are some things that have happened. Mm-hmm. I remember when I was believing for a wife. <laughs> and I prayed and I prayed and I believed and I confessed and I said it and I expected it. And now I can touch her. <laughs> that's right. And I'm in love. And that's an amazing thing. God can do anything and He will if you'll believe him and trust him. Religion, it's just boring, to be honest. It's stuffy. It can be full of ceremony and tradition. It can be everything but love. Yeah, yeah, that's I've been it. in churches where a bunch of mean people go. Right. I've been in situations where, where's Jesus in all this? Where's the love? Where's because the love? faith that's works good. by love. Your faith won't work if you mm-hmm. got to love. That's good. It doesn't matter if you go to a church, they got a steeple, they got a baptistry, they got a choir, they do well, all the stuff. Yeah. But without love, it's just a noisy sound and gong. Just a symbol clashing. I grew up uh, in very religious circumstances. I went to a religious university. I got kicked out of a religious university for singing a gospel song with my family, with my parents. For singing, must Jesus bear the cross alone and all the world go free. I went to a school, and I won't tell you the name of that school because I don't want to hurt the people. It was a well-known school. And I got kicked out of that school for singing what they said was Jesus Jazz. That's what they called it. Because it just wasn't, a, it was too syncopated for them. And they, uh, they didn't like that. They didn't like the way I played the piano when I sung that song. Even though I was saying 
truthfully, must Jesus bear the cross alone? Does he have to do this all by himself? Why should all the world go free? But there's a cross for everyone. There is a cross for me. And praise God, I, I want to bear that. This will keep you from having religion, knowing God is good. This is, this is important. Yes. Is God really good all the time? What about those days when bad things happen? God's still good. The devil does stuff that's bad. God's good and the devil's bad. Yeah. All the good stuff comes from good God. Amen. And all the bad stuff comes from the bad devil. Mm -hmm. And if we keep those two, those two things separated properly, and we know it all the time. The truth is God's good and all good things come from above. He's not withholding any good and perfect gifts. He is good. He is good. And he will prove it to you. He'll prove what? How will he do that? He'll prove how much he loves you. Yeah. But you got to press in. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. He said to work out your salvation. It's not, you can't play it out. You got to work it out. It's work. But you can do it. I know that because he did it for me. Amen. God is good. Psalms 34, verse 8 says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Yeah. And blessed is the man who trusts in him. Man, we got that. I pain. think that's your favorite scripture. <laughs> I love that scripture. I mean, scripture. all of Church on the Run, we used it every day, 365 yeah, days. We did. Because he's been so good to me. I am blessed. And I do taste and I see the goodness of God every day, everywhere. Yeah. I see him in you. I see him in this opportunity to share him with you. God is not out to get you. If he was, you'd be got, I guarantee you. <laughs> I grew up uh, back in the day, I'm almost 80 years, you know, I'm pushing 80. Uh, back in the day, it was like hellfire and brimstone. Well, you didn't preaching. hear much about the goodness of God. I mean, no, I remember I when no. Oral Roberts got a lot, was persecuted intensely. Yeah over just saying simply something good is going to happen to you today. Amen. And that you should say that every day. Something good. Say that with me. Something good, something good is going to happen to me today. going to happen to me today. Amen. I believe that. Amen. And the reason Amen. why we can say that is because all of God's plans for us are good. Yes, Amen. they are. Jeremiah 29, 11 yes. says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Mm -hmm. And there are plans for good and not for disaster to give you a hope and the future. Wow. God, but one version so says great. to prosper you. Yeah. And he's done that for me. Praise God. And he'll do it for you. His plan has not changed. COVID didn't change his plan. War in the Ukraine didn't change his plan. Mm -hmm. God's plan for you is yeah, full of hope good. and a future that's amazing. Praise you God. You just got to believe that all he has planned for you is good things. That's right. And you know, this again, what we're talking about today is this will keep you connected yeah. to a relationship with mm. Jesus, the That's real good. thing, That's and good. free from religion or what we call tradition. Now, we're not against any member of the body of, of Christ. We're, we are for the body of Christ. Right. And all of us can fall in this trap where we accept tradition rather than intimately knowing Jesus as our Savior and Lord, a relationship with Him as our first love. Revelation 2, 4, Jesus talked about this. He said, you've done all these things in my name. You have persevered, you've had patience, you've labored for my name's sake and have not become weary. Those are all good things. But He said, nevertheless, I have this against you that you have left your first love. Mm. So that's what we're talking to you today. When we talk about relationship, we're talking about your first love, Jesus, and keeping Him first. And one of the ways you do that, again, is by recognizing and acknowledging mm. that God is love. 1 John 4, 8 says, He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. Mylon said mm. this earlier. I mean, we could put this on a T-shirt, put it oh, on yeah. a hat, put it on a post-it note on your refrigerator. Where's the love? <laughs> right? I mean, that's, that's it. Where's the love? Because God is love. And you stay in that place and you're safe. Amen? Jesus said the world would know we belong to Him by, by our, our love. love for each other. Yeah. I mean, that's what, that's the whole deal. Everything yeah, that God does, yeah. the kingdom of love mm -hmm. is the kingdom of God. Mm 
Mm -hmm. God is love. That's Amen. so good. There are some of you out there, you may not even know what it means to make Jesus your Lord and Savior. You don't know love if you don't know God. That's right. Again, He is love. That's Amen. why we see so many, you know, Mylon, you know, they say they're falling in and out of love. But really what I love the way Mylon says it is they're really just falling in and out of bed. Yeah, you can't you fall can't, out of God. Right. No, it's not possible. <laughs> right. And so you tried that too, searching for the real thing. I did. And you found that God I learned God that the love. hard way. I hope you know? you're not as stubborn or as ignorant as I was. I was so rebellious and so aggressive and so arrogant that I pushed and pushed with my wrong thinking and my deception. And I pushed until I ran out of the grace of God. I just, he just got, there came a time when he allowed me to, to get in a situation that was really hard. He delivered me out of it. He forgave me. And in fact, it drove me to my knees. It's when I finally came to Jesus. It was obvious nothing else was working. Yeah, and you know, this is important, Romans 5, 8, but God demonstrates His own love towards us. Amen. He demonstrates His own love towards you today in that while we were yet sinners, yes. Christ died for us. Mm. Praise God. He loved us when we didn't deserve it. He gave His best gift in Jesus. Mm. John three sixteen. for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, Amen. that whosoever would believe in Him would not perish, but have everlasting life. Hmm. So God is a giver. He is not a taker. And He is ready to give His love to you today if you'll enter relationship with Him. No matter who they are, right. whosoever. Yeah, whosoever. It doesn't matter where you came from. Whether you're black or white or tall or short or, or it doesn't matter where you can how old you are, male or female, whosoever, anybody, if you'll receive his son Jesus today, you can have God's best. Amen. Amen. And he is our first love. Again, I want to reference to you first John four nineteen. We love him because he first loved us. We don't, let me say this, Mylon and I don't love God because we have to, right? I grew up in church. My testimony is a little bit different. I fell in love with Jesus at a young age Amen. because I had parents who taught me how to have a relationship with Jesus. Parents, I encourage you to train your children in this and teach them how much the Father loves them and that He hears them when they pray. Mm. He's ready to answer their prayers. He's a good heavenly Father. Amen. Amen. So we don't love, I don't love God because I have to. I love Him because He has proven to me that He loves me. He meets every Amen. need. He has proven to me it is exceedingly abundantly above oh, all thank you, that Jesus. I could ask, think, dream, or imagine the life yes, that Lord. He has given me because He's good. It's not because I earned it or because I deserve it. It's because He is a good God, and He wants to give you that today if you'll trust Him with your life. That's what a relationship is. Do you know that? It's yes, going man. all in. Yeah. Tradition can be just showing up on Sunday morning, but when you a relationship means you give Him your life and you are all in. You give Him not just what your sins, not just what you need Him to forgive you of, but you also give Him your hopes, your dreams, your relationships. Again, this is how you receive the real thing. Amen. Everybody wants to be loved. I don't know about you, but I need to be loved. Everybody does. Everybody's looking for love. Yeah. And that's what this TV show is all about. Yeah. Nobody's going to change their life mm -hmm. unless they really get the revelation that God truly loves them. That's right. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever should believe in Him would not perish, but would have everlasting life. Amen. So you can help us share the love of Jesus around the world by joining Team Milan. And you just go to Milan.org and click on Team Milan today.
almost reminded that there are some people that think that, for instance, that you should only take communion when you're in church. Right. That there has to be, the pastor has to be wearing robes or the priest and the sash and mm. everything has to be just right and in the cup and the, right. No, right. Jesus said, do this in remembrance of me. And God is not legalistic. God wants you to do the things of God. We quite often take communion in our kitchen. Yes, we do. And we take it, we don't have wine and, and little crackers that come from a company, you know, that sometimes we use grape juice. If we don't have any, we use apple juice. We use, it doesn't matter. Juice is juice, mm -hmm. you know. If we don't have uh, the right kind of cracker, we'll use, uh, you know, what, a cheese it Yeah. Well, we've used yeah. all kind of There's stuff. There's all kind of crackers, we, juice or water. Mm -hmm. or, the cracker has nothing to do with it. The well, juice has nothing to do with it. That's right. But when God, we, we remember that Jesus' we do this body in was broken for yeah. us. Amen. We do this in remembrance. Yeah. When we remember and think about and meditate mm -hmm. on what that blood of Jesus accomplished, it cleansed me, cleansed me from all unrighteousness. That's an amazing miracle. And so we stop our lives and honor the Lord. But there is no ceremony, not really. There's nothing special except our relationship. He said, where we're together in my name, I'll be there. That's relationship. He enters in, and we enter in with him, and he cleanses us, and we settle things. We, we settle our covenant with him. We remember it quite often. So... Religion, anything without love can be religion. Mm -hmm. It can turn into religion. God gave us, gave Moses 10 commandments in the Old Testament. Yeah. And the Pharisees added 616 more commandments, that rules. They weren't really commandments from God. They were men trying to make other men do things their way and join their club. That's religion. We don't want to do that. We only want to follow Jesus. The Holy Spirit is your teacher, and he's mine too, praise God. Amen. We don't love God because we have to. You know, I remember Amen. when I was little and my mom was a single mom, and yes. we had to believe God for the bills to be paid and for there to be food on the table and for my mom to have a job and for me, yes. her to be able to afford to put me in daycare while she worked full time. I remember being in government subsidized housing and how he met every need, even dresses for church. When I was in need of that, he is faithful and he's a good Amen. God and he loves his children. And he is ready to prove that to you today if you'll choose a relationship with him. Amen. So this first love in the Amplified, I love this version of Revelation 2.4. It says, but I have this one charge to make against you, that you have left abandoned the love that you had at first. Yeah. You have deserted me, your first love. That's what God said. That's a dangerous thing. We don't want to do We don't do want to be there. That's right. In religion, you just never know what God's going to do. But in the Word of God, built on standing on yes. His promises, you know exactly what He will do. He count. will do what He said He would do. No yes. religion. No. Religion has no power. Right. But the Word of God does have all the yes. power. And when you stand on it and do it His way, He gave His promises in the Word that you can count on. Yes, you can. You can depend on God. He is faithful. Man, He yes. is faithful and true. Second Corinthians 1 and verse 20 says, For all the promises oh. of God mm -hmm. in Him are yes, and in Him are amen to the glory of God through us. Sovereignty is not an issue when we already have His promise. Right. Some people blame that sovereignty. Can God, is He the sovereign? Yes, He is the final authority. He can do anything He wants to. The one thing He won't do is tell you to do something. He, if He tells you, you do this and I'll do something, mm -hmm. then He will do that if you do it. He will not take His sovereignty and change His mind. If He makes you a promise, He will promise. He is not a man that He should lie. He does everything he said he would do if he can just find somebody that loves him enough to believe him. Amen. So I, I want to encourage you. This God is not a man that he should lie. That's Numbers 23, 19. I'm going to end with this. 1 John 1, 19. If we confess our sins, 
He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If you've never given your life to Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. I want to encourage you, don't just give him your problems, please. Give him a chance. Don't just give him your sins. That's good. Get rid of them. Praise God. You need to do that. And we all have them. We've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. But we, if we confess our sins, our God is faithful and just and forgives our sins and cleanse us. Man, I cannot overemphasize that. And if you make another mistake, admit it to him. Just confess it to him. He will cleanse you. He will get you all the way to heaven. That will give you the real thing, your hopes and dreams. If you never have given your life, hopes, dreams, it's time to go all in. God is ready to give you the real thing. If you've never given your life to Jesus, will you pray this after me? Just say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. I believe. I believe that you raised Jesus from the dead. That you raised Jesus from the dead. And I confess him. And I confess as him. My Lord and as Savior. my Lord and Savior. And I believe. And I believe. I will live forever. I will live forever. In heaven with you. In heaven with you. <laughs> in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you just prayed that prayer, will you let us know at mylan.org? Amen. We'd love to hear what God has done for you. And also we have lots of free resources available for you at our website of teaching on the road to freedom on demand if you missed an episode check it out there we also have our podcast so that you can get the word for the week on the go or our church on the run daily digital devotional three to five minute that's why we call it church on the run real quick so that you can get that word quickly and encourage you in your faith but also we have mylan's testimony you heard a little bit of it today, but we have it available in book form called Without Him. So if you'd like to get that resource, it's available at our website. And all of these are ways for you to stay in the Word because we know that will keep you on, on the, the road, road to freedom. freedom.